Hello, can you believe the sitcom Bonnie Miller was released 48 years ago? Many of us grew up attached to the TV screens. I think it would be fun if you and your family sat on the couch and watched this movie again with the entire cast of then and now. Where are these actors now? Who made it to Hollywood and who passed away? Find the answer in our video. Hal Linden was born on March 20th, 1931 in the Bronx, New York City, USA. He played the character Captain Barney Miller in the sitcom when he was 44 years old in 1975. He is now living happily at the age of 92. And suppose it does go off, huh? then we will cooperate with the Civil Defense Department, do whatever they say because it is their ball game. There is no more Civil Defense Department, Barn. The city couldn't afford to keep it going. Uh, he didn't have his hands on anymore that closely as he did in the beginning when every word went through Danny to make sure that it was perfect. Ron Glass was born on July 10, 1945, in Evansville, Indiana. He played the character Detective Ron Harris in the sitcom when he was 30 years old in 1975. We regret to inform you that in 2016, he passed away at the age of 71, leaving us deeply saddened. They got a young kid in there who's trying to unload some stuff that doesn't belong to him. Kid? Whatever happened to selling newspapers? You can't hawk a paper out. <laughs> Popcorn event. That's correct. What are you thinking? But I did Gen Con. You did Gen Con? Yeah, I think it was seven or eight years ago. Okay, so a similar yeah, event. Six, seven or eight, you know. Barbara Berry was born on May 23rd, 1931 in Chicago, Illinois, USA. She played the character Elizabeth Miller in the sitcom when she was 44 years old in 1975. She is currently living happily at the age of 92. <laughs> what did you have in mind? How much time do you have? <laughs> a couple of minutes. Oh, well... It's a good long hair. The thing about this part is that I understand this part because I really am this part. And it's a perfect, perfect role for me at this point in my life. If Abe Vigoda was born on February 24th, 1921 in Brooklyn, New York, USA. He played the character detective Phil Fish in the sitcom when he was 54 years old in 1975. We regret to inform you that in 2016, he passed away at the age of 94 leaving us deeply saddened. Where do you live, kid? Manhattan. Oh, you're gonna make it tough, huh? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Max Gell was born on April 5th, 1943 in Detroit, Michigan, USA. He played the character Detective Stan Wojciechowicz in the sitcom when he was 32 years old in 1975. He is now living happily at the age of 80. Uh, I don't mind. It's your life. Uh, Beckman, we got a siren up on the roof. Yeah, but don't work. Why not? San Francisco, but I remember seeing him on the Tonys because he was, had a beard full of hell for the Rothschilds, and he's kind of a... Don Kaufa was born on December 3rd, 1939, in Brooklyn, New York, USA. He played the character Angelo Dodi in the sitcom when he was 38 years old in 1977. We regret to inform you that in 2016, he passed away at the age of 76, leaving us deeply saddened. Suction cups. <laughs> From Sap Ferry, all the way up to 168th Street, back and forth, five times. World War II. You know, that Stan's sense of humor. My character's name is Ernie Kaltenbrunner, and I found it after I got the part. Steve Lennisberg was born on November 23rd, 1936, in the Bronx, New York, USA. He played the character detective Surgeon Arthur Dietrich in the sitcom when he was 39 years old in 1975. We regret to inform you that in 2010, he passed away at the age of 74, leaving us deeply saddened. Do you know it was our third anniversary? Pardon me. It's three years ago today, you, me, Wojo, and Barney began working together. So the 29th anniversary of Rick Bernstein's bar mitzvah. <laughs> this is true. I was going to do it. I was supposed to host it tonight. And the papers said I was... Jack Sue was born on October 28, 1917, at the Sea Pacific. He played the character detective surgeon Nick Yamana in the sitcom when he was 58 years old in 1975. 
We regret to inform you that in 1979, he passed away at the age of 61, leaving us deeply saddened. Hey, not anymore. <laughs> See, I don't think it's a thief, Barnet. I think uh, it's something personal. Check out the hall. Ron Carey was born on December 11, 1935, in Newark, New Austria. He played the character Officer Carl Levitt in the sitcom when he was 41 years old in 1976. We regret to inform you that in 2007, he passed away at age of 71, leaving us deeply saddened. Mail call! <laughs> Here you go, Sergeant Harris. Publishers clearing house sweepstakes time. Oh, goody. <laughs> George Murdoch was born on June 25, 1930, in Salina, Kansas, USA. He played the character Lieutenant Ben Scanlon in the sitcom when he was 46 years old in 1976. We regret to inform you that in 2012, he passed away at the age of 81, leaving us deeply saddened. We both got our own people to watch out for. You want to give her something? <laughs> Take her out to dinner, she'll love you for it. <laughs> James Gregory was born on December 23, 1911, in New York City, USA. He played the character Inspector Frank Luger in the sitcom when he was 64 years old in 1975. We regret to inform you that in 2002, he passed away at the age of 90, leaving us deeply saddened. Because of mockery and seniority is a curse. Who the hell is everybody? <laughs> They're away on business. Gregory Sierra was born on January 25, 1937, in New York City, USA. He played the character detective surgeon Shano Amenguale in the sitcom when he was 38 years old in 1975. We regret to inform you that in 2021, he passed away at the age of 83, leaving us deeply saddened. No, John Dolligan was born on November 27, 1930, in Brooklyn, New York, USA. He played the character Ray Brewer in the sitcom when he was 46 years old in 1976. We regret to inform you that in 2009, he passed away at the age of 79, leaving us deeply saddened. You are? Ray. <laughs> nice to meet you, Ray. Have food for anybody? Let me know who's your favorite character from the sitcom Barney Miller and share your thoughts on the deceased actors by leaving your comments under this video. Remember to support us by liking, subscribing to the channel, and pressing the bell to receive my upcoming videos. Thank you and see you again.